2,000, over $2,000 for another one of these monitors. There's gotta be another way. Okay, I'm seeing it. It looks like a really nice, sleek animation. It's this is Amazon's cheapest 24 inch, 24 incher. <laughs> LG monitor 24MK4 3.0 60 centimeters 24 inches oh IPS FHD full HD flicker safe wall mountable on screen control I'm gonna be using this guy as a security camera monitor but also want to try out some gaming. Might get some 40, 60 frames a second with this beast inside. And look at the panel. Is there any scratches? And there it is. This is the lug. It looks very professional. LG 24 incher. I'm excited to be setting this guy up. I'm actually very excited to be setting this guy up. This guy was $150. Now if I was to get a professional Monitor like the one behind me, over $2,000. And it's only 10 inches different, eight inches difference. It's eight inches, it's eight inches worth $2,000. I don't, you know. I mean, if you ask me, I'm gonna say no. Yes, oh. yes, yes. It's a monitor. Oh. Get, get back to the kitchen. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get canceled for saying that. Oh man, guys, it's, it's, it's a bloke, so it's fine. And plus KFC, you know. Anyway, you get some stuff in the box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the hardest part of this installation. And that is setting up the stand. And I have been setting up stands for a good few years now, so I know what I'm doing. You get the base. And you put the monitor on the base. Now, read the instructions. Don't follow me. I'm just some guy on the internet. And The stand goes in the bottom like that. And then you screw it in with your thumb. And that is it. That's the monitor all set up. I'm even holding it. Boom, shakalaka. This is the LG 24 incher all the way from Amazon. It's only 150 Australian dollars over here in Australia. Cheaper probably where you are, Australian dollar. God bless it. But this is full HD. Can this get 60 frames a second gaming on my MacBook? We're gonna be trying this out. Will this be good for my security camera? We're gonna find out. Will it tilt up and down? We're gonna, it tilts. It even tilts. Is, that, is it tilting? Yeah, it's a, look at that, that's pretty cool. Customizable stand. So around the back, these are the ports you get. I see a VGA, look at that. I see headphones, headphone jack. HDMI and a power. I'm gonna be using HDMI, because that looks pretty good. Energy rating, look at that, four, some stars. It's got 82 watt, kilowatt hours per year. You know, I love how cheap this monitor is. I feel like throwing it around whenever I get a big screen TV or a big monitor, I am scared of touching it. I was laying down pillows, do an elbow drop, that kind of stuff, but this guy is uh, unstoppable. So you get the triple, the triple headed power adapter. You also get this HDMI cable, CD, and a warranty. So let's plug it in, see how it goes next to the beast. Ugh. Okay, so this doesn't go up and down, whereas this one does. There you go, $2,000 well spent. You know, for the price of this, you can get 20 of these. Okay, so this cable is around about a meter and a half long. A new external input has been connected. Do you want to use this? There's actually controls on the bottom here. Yes, yes I do. Let's see what happens. All right, so quality wise, you can immediately tell that there is a difference between the cheap one and the expensive one, even the MacBook Pro. These guys, that they're so deep, the colors, you don't really appreciate it until you actually look. Whereas this guy, it feels cheaper. That's not to say for the price I'm complaining because it's very, very cheap, but you can tell the difference with the colors. It looks more flushed out and faded here. Look at that, look at that fading over there. Whereas this one, it's more crisp. 
you can tell this obviously is a 4K panel. I'm not using 4K, I'm using slightly less, but side by side, I guess from far away, you don't really notice it, but there's a slight difference in color like this one. There is, uh, it's a bit flushed out the blues where this one's very, very deep and bombastic. And this guy as well, very, very deep and bombastic. So straight away, there is a difference noticeable. I don't know so much. You know, it's a bit, if, if you haven't got one of these designer conceptual monitors, you probably can't tell, but yeah, there is a difference. You get, you get lots of settings to play with, like for example here, there's quick settings, there's input, there's picture. By default it's in custom, but there's also, for example, a photo mode. And it does warn you that it will use more watts when it's in photo mode. And there's cinema, and there's color weakness, and game. And I'll just go back, leave it at custom, because I kind of like that one. There's also picture adjust, so you can, I played with the contrast, increase a little bit, you can play with the sharpness. Super resolution, that just boosts the sharpness like crazy, so you can see exactly what's going on. Probably good for gaming. And black level, you can make it really high and low. DFC, yeah, and general. It's just a generally normal monitor. Energy savings, turn it off. I probably have that turned off anyway, because you'll get better colors probably automatic standby just a nice easy monitor to play with maybe mm, depends on the viewing distance when you're this far away you can't notice it but when you're up close you can see that it is a bit pixelated over here so you can tell full hd versus this guy you're looking up close it still looks nice and crisp but that is my first impressions i'm going to see if i can edit a video on this monitor show you the difference it's more pixelated but it's not that bad. Like I can still work off it. You can see a bit more pixels around the screen because obviously there's a lower resolution, but you know, it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. This looks generally normal. It doesn't look like it's bad colors. It looks like I'm watching a YouTube video. So that's kind of nice. Switching over to this guy. It does look better on the expensive monitor, but I, is it gonna make a difference to my life? Nice, I, I could work on this guy. It's not that bad, it's pretty fast. I guess the good thing about going lower res is that you will have better performance. 4K, driving 4K is four times full HD. Color wise, let's just look at this one frame here. Okay, I'm seeing that color on the shorts. Very, very similar colors. I can't really tell the difference. The green, it looks a bit more vivid here. There's the green, hmm. Can't really tell. Yeah, it's just slightly low res. Hmm. Now it's time to do some gaming, to see how it really performs. So display settings, I'm gonna not duplicate, extend, keep changes. And these are both monitors side by side on Windows. I think it looks nice. Looks good to me. Nice Windows logo. This one, I mean, it looks great. There isn't that much difference that I noticed between the two, but this one, I guess the resolution really adds up. But for a $150 monitor, boom. Now let's just check the viewing angles. So yeah, it gets a bit faded and flush. Or does it? It actually looks pretty good. Pretty good from the side, the main event. This guy, it looks about the same. So it's, I'd say good viewing angles, I guess. Uh, yeah, good. I'm seeing nice, nice colors there. Maybe even better than the designer one. Maybe the MacBook Pro. That's probably the worst one. Yeah, good for privacy, I guess, when you're on the go. All right, first up, I've got the Beast. This is a 4K monitor, but we're gonna be running at 1080p just to see if it looks good and how fast it runs, it's a benchmark. So we're getting around 60 to almost 70 frames a second. The lowest I've seen is 58. It looks, looks very beautiful, looks nice. I gotta say it looks pretty good. Uh, maybe the quality isn't as good as the main beast. It's hard to tell. I'm a bit surprised because it did look all right. Isn't as good as the main beast, but you're saving $2,000. I need a second opinion. Yo, second opinion! 
All right, so I got this game. I'm gonna play it first on the big screen. Just memorize the quality, memorialize it in your heads, and then I'll play it on a little screen, memorialize it, and tell me which, or how, what's the difference, okay? I like this, spot the difference. Okay, I'm seeing it. It looks like a really nice, sleek animation. It's working really well, it's fast. The tree trunks look nice and intricate. The glass, ice glass on the floor looks good. The foliage looks good, really crisp. I can see the lines going through and yeah, I like it. It's really nice, really good screen, very intricate details. Okay, this one is more fuzzy. The foliage looks less crisp and less defined. I can certainly see the tree trunk lines are still there. However, right on the edges, there is an ever so slightly more pixelation scene. So it looks more artificial, whereas the other one, it was, I was more into it. This one, the ice looks pretty clear. I can see it's all crisp as well. However, there is an element of it looking a bit more pixelated and I can definitely tell that. So the resolution is reduced. All right, this is the killer question. Okay. I'm gonna ask you to guess yes. how much more expensive this big fella is compared to this little fella. Well, given it's bigger and it's better quality, I'm gonna say maybe three times more expensive. Let's just say that. I mean, like, okay, it's not like, it's probably better by a half, and then because I know the technology is expensive, I'm gonna say like, increase it a bit more, say three times. Yeah, so I'm gonna go for three times more expensive. More, four times, more than that, five times. Okay, now come on, that's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Six times? It's the price of a professional. Seven times, eight, nine, Oh my God, 10, 11? Oh my God, what? <laughs> what? Okay, for the price you're getting this guy for, it's pretty oh good, God. like, it's a good monitor. Yeah. I like it, it's nice. How much more expensive is this? 20. 20 times more expensive! Oh my God, Ash, what did you get this for? It's a professional monitor. I'll get you 20 of these instead. Yeah, but this is 4K, 10-bit color. It has all the stuff a so professional could use. I was just being pedantic. I literally was just being pedantic because you put me on the spot. I was like, yeah, maybe. But you know, it's pretty much the same thing, guys. Save your money. 20 times more expensive. What were you thinking? I like this monitor. I like this monitor. This is, this is, well, this is the good, like, I was expecting this to be proper rubbish, honestly. I just wanted it to use for my security cameras. But it's a decent display. It's not rubbish. It's really good. Can you return this please? No, I love this. I love this guy. This guy's my friend. I like it. Leave him alone. I'm gonna get a bigger monitor next time. What? All right guys, hope you found this amazing side-by-side, -side, amazing comparison of the LG 24 incher. This is the cheapest Amazon 24 incher you can get. It turns out exactly the same. Looks very beautiful. It's a good monitor. Very, very cheap. So yeah, you guys like found this video, let us know which monitor you'd get. And hope you guys enjoyed the show. <laughs>